Hello guys and welcome today I'm going to show you how to create a travel booking website using Shopify. First be sure to check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also a $1 for one month one time deal. So without further ado let's get going. First we're going to go over here to our product section and we're going to click on product. Here we're going to start uploading all of the information of our products. For example, I'm going to start with my title and we're going to start with a Qatar Airways first class. Now we're going to copy our title and we're going to click over here on generate test text on our description and we're going to paste it here. We're going to click on generate and Shopify is going to use its built-in AI to generate a description for us. Here we can either choose to generate a description again or just click over here to give the one we already have. Here on media we're going to click on upload new and we're going to click to select sorry a photo for our product. Below our image we're going to have the category section. Now here a Shopify is usually going to select a category for us and it's almost always going to be correct. But if we want we can just click over here and change it to whichever one we would like. On the right we're going to have the product type, vendor, collections and tax section. Here for collections make sure you add your product to your homepage and for tags we can put for example if we want booking. Here for the, we're going to have the pricing section. Let's say that we're going to charge around a hundred thousand pesos for this booking and our cost per item is going to be around 40,000 so we're going to have a 60,000 pesos profit at a 60% margin of profit. For inventory we're just going to uncheck this because we're not going to keep track of inventory and here we also can assign a weight to our product in case we're going to do any kind of shipping. Once we are done customizing our product, we are going to click on save and as you can see we would have our first product uploaded. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click here on add product and I'm going to keep uploading all of the products of my store. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm done. So guys, as you can see here, I have added a New York penthouse, a Japan 5 star hotel and also a, a Brazil beach house. So once we are done uploading all of the products of our store, we are going to go to our online store and we're going to start to customize it. The first thing that we're going to be able to change is going to be its theme. If we go down, you can see that we're going to have a couple of free themes to use. And if we want, we can click over here and we would be redirected to the Shopify theme store. Here we're going to have a lot of different themes to look for and some of which may better suit our website. For me, I'm just going to stick with the default one for, one for now. So once we are back over here, we're going to click on customize. And as you can see here, we're going to have a lot of different sections that we can customize. Each section is going to be outlined like this by a blue line. And here on the top left, the name of the section is going to be displayed. On our right, we're going to have all the different options that we have to customize our section. For example, this is our image banner. So we're going to click over here to select an image to be our banner. We're going to choose this one. And once it's done uploading, we're going to click here on done. Uh, uh, here and as you can see the banner of our uh, section has now changed. Next we're going to click on our heading and we're going to put for example welcome to my booking and as you can see the text right over here has now changed. So let's say that next we want to add a new section to our website. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here to template and we're going to click on add section. Here we're going to have a lot of different options. We can we have a featured collection, featured product, a collection list, etc. etc. For me, I'm just going to choose a featured product. And here, if we select this new section on the right, uh, we're going to be able to select a product to be displayed right over here. For example, I'm going to choose my Japan five star hotel. And as you can see, this new product right over here is going to be displayed. Now let's say that we want to change its color scheme. For example, we're going to put a nice dark tone. And there you go. Now this section is going to have a dark theme. Now uh, let's say that we have added a new section by mistake. For example, this featured collection. And we want to delete it. We just have to select this section and go over here on the bottom right to the remove section button. We press it. Make sure you have the, the section you want to delete selected. And as you can see, it's going to be deleted. 
We can also add sections to our footer and our header. We can add an email sign up over here and also a custom liquid. And the same goes for our header. We can add a custom liquid and an announcement bar. Another very important thing about our header is that right over here our store's name is going to be displayed. So in order to change it, what we're going to do is we're going to save our changes. We're going to exit and we're going to go to the home page of Shopify. Here we're going to click on name your store, name store, and here we will be able to change our store's name. For example, I'm going to put bookings and I'm going to save my changes. So now in order to make sure that our store's name is going, uh, has changed, we're going to go to our online store, but, but now we are going to click on the three dots and we're going to click on preview. This is going to redirect us to our website and as you can see here on our header, our new name is going to be displayed. We can scroll down to make sure that everything else is set up just the way we want. And once we are done checking out our website, we are going to go back over here in order to go over the analytics and marketing section. Now this is going to be a really important section for us guys because we're going to be able to see our total sales, our sales by channel, our total orders, the average order value and a lot of different things such as which products are going to be the most popular amongst our customers among many other things which is going to be really helpful for us in order to manage and customize our website all from the same place. Lastly, I wanted to show you the discount section here. If we click on add a discount, we are going to choose an amount of products. We are going to be able to select and customize a discount for our store. For example, here we are going to be able to choose our code. We can put, for example, booking 101 or just click over here. So Shopify is going to provide us with a random code for us. Here we can choose which kind of percentage is going of discount sorry it's going to be either a percentage amount or a fixed di uh, of, or a fixed amount. Here I'm going to choose a percentage and it's going to be a 10% discount. Below it we can choose which collections our discount is going to apply to. For example, if we click on browse, we are going to choose our home page collection. If we keep going down, you can see that we have further options to customize our discounts, such as the minimum purchase requirements, the customer eligibility, the maximum amount of uses it has, and also the combinations. Lastly, if we click over here on set end date, we are going to be able to select an expiration date for our discount. For example, I'm going to choose the 27th. And once we click on save discount, we would have our first discount ready to either post on social media, maybe gift to a friend or just use however we would like. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check the link in the description for a three days free trial of Shopify and also that $1 for one month one time deal. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys next time.